And finally, hundreds of London school children are trying to break a world record for the most number of people singing and signing a song at the same time. 48 schools in the capital are taking part in the event. Lucrezia Millerini went to a school in Greenwich where every single pupil gave it a go. For these children, learning sign language is part of the daily curriculum. Deaf and hearing pupils are taught together, and so communication between each other and their teachers is crucial. And today they're taking part in a charity fundraiser to help carry that message even further. The James Wolfe Primary School here in Greenwich is one of more than 40 London schools taking part in today's event. The idea is to get as many pupils signing and singing at the same time. The idea is to break the world record set last year at just over 114,000 youngsters singing and signing. It's an aid of Sign Health, a charity that works to help improve the mental and physical health and well-being of deaf people, including deaf children. The children love learning sign language. It's a great, fun language to learn and it gives them a really important skill. And, and as I say, for us, it's really important because it's raising awareness of deaf people and of the way that they communicate. So hopefully making those children more tolerant and uh, better citizens. Really. Uh, children, uh, do they find it easier to learn, for example, than adults will? Because in most things in life, <laughs> they do tend to pick things up. They're like little sponges, aren't but they? That's, the younger they are. that's absolutely right. The children get it way ahead of the adults. It's normally the adults who are fumbling around in the background whilst <laughs> the kids have got it perfectly. James Wolfe has a centre for deaf children which is fully integrated into the life of the school. But that's not essential. This year, more than 1,200 schools across the country have signed up. And like pupils here, they've all been practising for weeks, the song that's been especially composed for the event. Really very exciting. It's mm. been very emotional as well because having the whole school community together doing, using BSL is a dream of all of us here because mm. it's such an important element of what we do in this in school. It's so inclusive mm. and the communication as we hear from the song is the most important thing for making sure that inclusive and vibrant works for all the children. Yeah. So it's incredibly important. We are confident of breaking the world record? Fingers crossed, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Well, warm-up's over at 2.45 this afternoon. It was finally the moment to sign and sing. It helps deaf people where they are and um, whether, whether they're sick and... Doctors can communicate with them. I really like it. We bang to dingy. Do you think you've broken the world record? Yeah, I think we've broken it by far. Well, we don't know yet whether we've broken the world record or not, but I am an independent witness here and I'm going to sign this piece of paper to say that James Wolfe Primary School did take part at the right time, all singing the same song. Lucrezia Millerini, ITV News, Greenwich. We'll let you know.